Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited to share some major upgrades ReRender has rolled out last month. I did make a video about ReRender a couple months ago, but honestly guys, AI is just keep improving super fast every day. It's a lot faster rendering. It also brings sharper details. It's better presentation and smoother visuals. You can also now use AI lighting tool to adjust like dynamic and artistic atmosphere. And you can also generate high resolution image that will probably replace the traditional rendering tool soon. So if you haven't used the re-render tool already, I would definitely recommend checking out my previous video, which will walk you through the basic tools and like the basic workflow of how to use AI rendering. So definitely check them out first. But in today's video, I wanted to dive into the all the upgrades of re-render since my last video to show you seriously how they can improve your interior design workflow. So if you're ready, let's get into it. So once you log into ReVender, um, this is the home page that you will see. Today I'm going to show you the rendering tool. So let's go over here and click this render. Um, basically, you can turn in any sketches or like SketchUp model here. So I'm going to upload this image that I worked on my SketchUp and we're going to use this image throughout this whole video. So once you upload them, let's scroll down and go to number two, type and style. So this is where you can kind of select the style of the rendering and there's so many options. I'm going to choose this restaurant minimalistic very vibe. Um, but if you scroll down, there's so many options you can choose from. For example, in the residential, there's like quite a few numbers of styles that you can choose from. So feel free to choose whatever style that suits you. Um, and once you're happy with it, let's go over to number three where we can add details. So time of the day, we're gonna choose the midday uh, season. I'm gonna choose the autumn here and select confirm. For sky, I'm going to have maybe clear sky. And for the landscape, this is like what you'll see outside of the window, for example. So I'm going to choose cityscape. And for the architectural material, I already have materials in my SketchUp model, so I'm not gonna select any. And then quick description of my image. So I'm gonna type Japan style bar with dining table in the middle. And then here, precise, balanced, and creative. Let's say precise, and this will kind of render your SketchUp model quite accurately to the materials that you have. They won't change anything. And then if you go to balance, this will kind of like mix together with the style of the render that you choose um, earlier. So they will modify a little bit in terms of color, um, but still keep the original image as much as you can. And then the creative mode, they will kind of give and add their creative like AI flair to it. So it might change your images um, slightly. But let's try out all these three. Let's start with the per side mode and then hit render and see what it comes out with. Usually it would take like within a minute to like make um, this rendering. So it's super, super fast, but now it's here and let's make this bigger and see how good it has turned out. So I guess like you can see before and after, it has turned in the material quite accurately to my SketchUp model. They've kept the chairs as it was in the model, for example, it has the wooden dining chair, um, concrete flooring, um, you know, the glass, they've understood the lighting, for example. So it's very, very like well read. Then now let's look into the balance mode. So I'm going to select this one and hit regenerate. And this one, again, it's super fast rendering. And now you can see that it has kind of like tweaked a little bit of the color tone of the materials. So for example, like the artwork has now changed to like a gray, dark, green mode, for example, the mood has changed. The background image has also changed. So in this mode, you can really see that the AI will kind of balance with the style that you've selected earlier. And now let's look at the creative mode. So I'm going to select here and hit regenerate. And now you can kind of see that the AI will completely change your image from your original SketchUp. So it has like understood my caption of like Japandi. So they've added like this paneling, the artwork has changed, you know, like the mood has changed and the flower vase has changed. So when you hit creative, you can really see that AI will kind of come up with their creative flair to your image. So you don't get exactly the same rendering. Now let's go back to the original image and I want to show you what you can do from here. So let's say like you got the rendering, they will give you four different options actually. And you can see that they all have different like lightings and atmosphere. But I want to basically show you guys like this cool tool that you can start editing this image into a little bit more personal and start making it a bit more specific. So you can use this edit tool, which is super, super helpful and basically start editing this like small areas and the details of 
your edits. And there are super important like prompts that you need to write every time you edit. Basically, you want to keep as it is exactly like this image, but change the small areas. So in order to do that, you want to type in from saying keep everything else, but change this specific area. So let me show you an example. So for example, you can say keep everything else, but change the fabric of the dining chair to tan leather and hit run. And basically, once this rendering process is over, the image will start showing you that the chair has changed just itself to a tan um, fabric. So everything else is the same as before, which is very cool. And this is very helpful to see like when you just want to see the chair change from like black to tan, for example. There's another thing you can also do. So let's say I want to change the outside image of the window. I can say, keep everything else as it is, but change the scene image behind the window. Um, to pedestrian street with the shops in London and I can really specify the location as well because I wanted that mood and voila you can see that they've kept the tan share as before um, and they've changed only the image behind the window to like a London city vibe which is so cool so this is also very helpful when you're just like change the mood of the image the scenery like you just tell keep everything as it is and then ai will understand that prompt so super helpful tool now i'm going to try out and say keep everything as it is but as sheer curtain pull the side to the right and left side of the glass and let's see what it does and voila again like it's just understood exactly like my prompt as i wanted it's sheer curtain it's pulled out to the sides and it's very accurate to my prompt. So this is very, very cool. But I'm going to show you a few more examples. So now I'm going to try and say, keep everything as it is, but change the timber floor to concrete texture tile floor. And we can see that they've changed just the flooring and kept everything else. Another thing you could do with the edit tool is you can also turn on the lighting, for example. So we can say, keep everything else, but turn on the track light and the pendant light. And voila, again, they would just turn on the lighting and create this atmosphere that is super more bright. Um, another example is keep everything else as it is, but change the dining table to uh, light scan the oak um, and it will just change that. So this is very helpful to like slowly build your rendering to however you want. One last thing I want to show you guys is by edit tool again, and we can say keep everything else as it is, but change the artwork to Japan the minimal painting with the negative space and we'll change just the artworks and we can say that keep everything else as it is but change the pen on light material to paper um, because I didn't really like that texture and again it just improved the lighting to like a paper and then light so very helpful too when you're presenting this to your clients and they want different mood or different artworks and it's very helpful for these like little tweaks and once you're happy with the image make sure to download them as you go because um, re-render still doesn't save every image that you like edit so every time you have like the image that you like make sure to like download them so that you can re-upload that image to edit further um, they don't save lift on your laptop so make sure to download them so now I want to show you guys this enhanced tool. So it's quite similar to what we've done on the render tool, but this time it's a lot easier. There's less settings and so on, and it just like does it like automatically. So I'm going to upload the same image here from the SketchUp we used earlier. And once you upload them, the render will automatically start rendering on this enhanced tool. And now you can see that the realistic rendering has slightly changed. Um, and for example, like the scenery is different, um, the mood is a lot darker, and there's things that I want to change. But I guess in this tool, you have the option to like go edit straight away rather than choosing all the specific like details before. So I'm just going to show you exactly like the same process to change and edit your image as we wish. So we'll start by keeping everything else but change the floor to concrete floor and you can change that for example. We can say that keep everything else as it is but change the scene image behind glass to London, view of so small street restaurant outside, people walking and no cars and you'll get like a different image from like the one before and and I kind of prefer this image, for example, it's a little bit more um, aligned with my mood. So there's different ways you can kind of try and make your rendering. I'm gonna try and give it a go and edit um, again and say, keep everything else as it is, but turn the pen and light 
um, and change the material to paper and let's see the quality so I changed the material into paper so it's exactly the same process this version just makes I think a little bit easier than um, rendering tool um, we can do like keep everything else but change the chair to like white cream fabric so again it made the change as it is so it's exactly the same process there's not much difference in whether you use render or enhance tool um, and one last edit for example you can change the artwork into something like this completely different so I think you need to be quite specific with the prompt but when you master how you want to articulate what you want the AI will understand and change uh, make that change so very very helpful but I think with the enhance tool what I really want to show you is like once you're happy with your final image you want to download them and then re-bring back into the enhance tool so let's go back and change this to um, AI lighting mode so once we click this and then upload the image it would kind of brighten up your scenery so I had this image before that I download them and now you can see the change of like how the enhanced um, lighting is so before and after and you can see it's a lot more brighter for example it's a lot more clearer um, it has a bit more like lively atmosphere which is so great another thing you can do now is to bring this quality into high resolution so I'm going to download this again and bring back to enhance tool and now let's do resolution boost and going to upload the image again and it would automatically start rendering and we can see that now like the quality has really really like improved so like before and after for example like um, the details of the materials is a lot more clearer a lot more smoother and from the people's face for example you can really see that you know it has a little bit more details to it even to the lamp it has a little bit more texture so this is how you can improve your um, image fine finalized to high quality and finally um, I want to show you how you can change this into uh, video mode so let's go back to the final um, image we had earlier and you can click onto this video and then um, it would show up this window and let's maybe choose like zoom out version and then it will go into this um, window and basically you can choose five seconds or ten seconds and it's super quick once you choose what kind of movement you want for the video you just hit generate and voila it would create this amazing stunning video that you can use for like presentations client meetings and just articulate your ideas even better um, so super helpful that was all for today's video. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you want to try out Rerender app yourself, you can use my code MIA2 2025 and you can use seven days per account and also give you 20% off subscription. So make sure to check out my description on how you can redeem this offer. Thank you so much for watching all the way through and I'll see you guys on my next video. Ciao.